This F-150 Lariat is in terrible condition. It's used as a lawn care truck, so obviously it's going to get used pretty heavily. But the exterior just has not been cleaned in years, and it really shows. The paint is dull. The wheels and tires are just dirty. And overall, it needs a lot of cleaning. And wait until you see the results at the end of the video. It's a big turnaround. First, we're going to tackle the wheels and tires. I'm basically using four things, my pressure washer, a tire brush, an all-purpose cleaner diluted four to one, and then a wheel brush. Next up is the engine bay and we're basically using the same products and tools from the wheels except now on the engine. I'm going to start by rinsing it down with the pressure washer. I'm using a 4 to 1 all-purpose cleaner but in a pump spray this time and then multiple brushes to agitate all the areas. Once that's done, I'm going to use an air blower to dry most of the engine bay and then I'm going to use our plastic dressing to saturate the engine bay. Now we let the plastic dressing sit there until the end of the detail. Like I said, this is a lawn care truck, so the bed has a lot of grass or whatever this is, so we gotta clean this up first. Next, I'm going to rinse it down. I'm going to pre-spray it with an all-purpose cleaner diluted 4 to 1. That's a common theme amongst this truck. And then I'm going to agitate and rinse. Next up, we're moving to the paintwork. Since this paint is pretty bad, we're gonna do a pre-spray with an operas cleaner diluted four to one. We're gonna let it dwell for a little bit and then we're gonna rinse it off. That way we remove a big chunk of the dirt.
Next, it's time to foam it down and give it a thorough hand wash. Part of this wash process we're going to get into the tight areas so we're going to use a brush to get into the grills emblems cracks and crevices Once that's done, we move on to the cleaning process. Okay, so this is a great example of when I'd be using a clay bar over a clay mitt because here you can easily feel and hear all the texture that's in the paintwork. Now by texture, I mean they're still stuck on contaminants in the clear coat that has to get pulled out. Now, nine out of 10 times, we typically just use our clay mitts but with something like this, where there's a lot more contaminants and we have to go a bit more aggressive, plus we're also gonna polish afterwards, we're gonna go with a clay bar because it's gonna help us pull those contaminants out of the paintwork much easier. It's gonna take a bit of time, one, due to the size, and two, and two because we probably have to do multiple passes each time, but the clay bar in this situation is a much better choice for the job. Now we can finally inspect the paintwork and it is completely swirled up. Next up is the correction. To remove 80% of the swirls, we're using a microfiber cutting disc from Oberk and then we're using a Rupaz and Oberk cut compound. And as we're removing the compound, you are seeing a lot more gloss and shine come out of the paintwork and you can really tell that this is going to be a huge transformation.
midway, I decided to polish out the bumpers. There is nothing fancy. I'm still just using the microfiber cutting disc with the compound and it's getting great results. and the team gets on the vehicle and we're all correcting the paintwork. The wheels were pretty hammered and I wanted to polish them up. Again, super simple process. I'm literally just using a microfiber towel with a compound. Here specifically, I'm using Obercut, but there's nothing special about this, but the results are fantastic. For these tires, I'm gonna grab our tire brush. I'm gonna spray onto the tire, into the brush, and literally just scrub in the tire dressing. Now, as you can tell, the interior of these windows are dirty. Once we clean these up, the entire truck is gonna come together. Are the after results now i didn't get much footage of us polishing the paint but we used an all-in-one to polish and seal the paintwork and this is looking like a brand new truck we dressed the tires we dressed the side mirrors we cleaned and dressed the engine bay we polished the front and rear bumpers and overall this is a dramatic difference And that's gonna complete this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. It's the first of many that we're gonna do. So what did you like? What did you not like about it? Let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section. If you wanna see the tools and products that we use, I'll have those linked down in the description box. Other than that, thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one.